Hi guys. So welcome to the Compile Group. In today's video, we will understand how to mine the data, the that customer basket data using R. So we have a file of cross data. This one is a file. This is in the form of that one transaction having this much of item brought by the customer. Second is the second transaction and third transaction. Data is in format form. They already processed or actual data is just in the in this that type of form we having order id and product product name just like that. okay so right now we are working uh, in this video we are working on this type of data to analyze our customer basket data fine so coming to our studio first uh, two library you have to include uh, <clears throat> in order to do a basket data analysis so I will just copy paste this all the codes to uh, summarize you in a very good way. Okay, so I in include that library a rules and, and a rules base. Fine. After include both the library, <coughs> you need to <coughs> you need to include your grocery data which I already placed. I already explained how to attach the data date dot transaction in the data place see so this is the grocery data set collected from uh, collected from the 30, 30 days of real world point of sales of transaction of s d store the data set containing about 9835 transactions the item are aggregated into 169 categories now so we will attach the data mm, i think this file is missing to check for me so i was again that file and i attach that grocery file it's done okay so <coughs> that grocery formal class transition then now coming to the summary of that data that will show the most frequent item in the data set in the item are purchased more often than other because so <clears throat> we'll find that these are different different type of data which are brought by right that average set in the artist with not baby cosmetic these are all the data right now coming to the next step what will we do that uh, grocery item set in four this will display the 10 to 20 transition of the grocery data set we want to see This is just for your information, not required. So, mm, fair. so now we will use the main thing the priori algorithm. I can use to explain how it works. This a priori function from the a rule package implement the a priori algorithm to create frequent item set. Note that by default, the a priori function execute all the iteration at once. However, to illustrate the algorithm works. The code example the section manually set the parameter of the a priori function to stimulate each iteration of the algorithm. Assume that minimum support threshold is set 3.02 based on management descriptions. Because of the data set containing 9853 transaction, an item set should appear at least 198 times to be considered as a frequent item set. The first iteration on the a priori algorithm, the support of each product in the data set and that remains those products that satisfy the minimum support points. The following code identify 59 frequent items that satisfies minimum supports and the parameters of the priori -E. specify minimum and maximum length of the item set, the minimum and maximum support threshold and the target indicating the type of association mining. So I'm running this code. Okay, <coughs> Nico. Fine. This is the summary of what I have explained. That it minimum support I ran the priori. Then it done the first iteration of a priori. Now I will do summary of this item set. 
the summary of this item set what is given <clears throat> the summary of items of source that support of one item set range from 0.2105 to 0.2552 because the maximum support is one an item set in the data set is only 0.2552 right so to enable the discovery of interesting rule the minimum support threshold should not be set to close to that number right now what we will do this next step is this one i'll explain what is this you can see the item with support and count i already explained the a priori also to understood this what is going on so this following code uses the inspect function to display top 10 frequent item set by their support and by their frequency that is count of 59 item set okay therefore they are called frequent item set the next will do this code by setting up my maximum length <clears throat> so <clears throat> this is what this in the next recession a list of frequent had joined on itself from all the possible candidates item item and to be joined become item set this algorithm compute the support of each candidate that can be satisfied and to minimum support so i already explained the priori algorithm what is that candidate it will pair with each and every item to make a candidate and in order to get most frequent candidate to choose our <coughs> basket so this explain that only things now we'll do again i summary of that item set so this is the summary of the item set shows that support of two item set from range 0.002327 right this is our confidence so now we'll inspect this thing okay the top 10 most frequent top two item set first we get inspect single wise item set then we create a candidate by using combination of each and every item with other item combinations so these are candidates possible candidates with support and counts fine the next step <coughs> is to do again this this next level of frequent item set join on to itself to form candidate of item 3 three items for examples i just want to to, to know the identity of three which are more frequent item set to be identified right so these are the identified five items right and the items display these items uh, so these are the item set of three candidates right which have good support for our uh, as per our requirement counts these are 22 228 and 219 right now we will do the next level thing in the next iteration there is only one candidate of item set four items at root vegetable and whole milk anyway and support which is sub which is supporting our confidence interval and support so frequent item has been found and algorithm converts don't have more things to do now so now we'll do what next this one so the previous step stimulate the private uh, a priori algorithm at each iteration for the grocery data set the iteration run out of support when k equal to therefore the frequent three item when the maximum length is not set the algorithm continue each iterator until it's run out of the support until k reaches default maximum length equal to 10 as soon as the code follows okay so toward the front of that is maximum length so here the maximum length can be four only one did one type of combination appearing for that our support right so will work for only three <clears throat> so the code output that follow 122 frequent items that have been identified matches the total number of 59 frequent one item set two item set <clears throat> and two frequent and three item set 
so we have created a basket of 161 oh uh, sorry one two then three items at right and now this is a code we already run right hmm. so now the next level thing we need to define the rules this is the code for the rules so the a priori function can also be used to generate rules assume that minimum support threshold is now set to a lower value 0.001 and minimum confidence threshold is set to 8.6 a lower minimum support threshold allow more rules to show up the following codes create two and one eight rules from all the customers on all transactions in the grocery data set that satisfy both minimum support and the minimum confidence I will see the summary of the rules so this summary of the rules shows the number of rules and the range of the supports now we plot, plot the data rules rules plotting fine so in this data this plotting you can find that to display the scatter plot of 2918 tools where the horizontal axis is the support and the vertical axis is the confidence and shading is the lift so if i am purchasing x item what is the lift of y item the scatter flow set 2918 will generate from the grocery data set the highest lift occur at lower support at lower support right and low confidence so now we'll plot rule quality so <clears throat> the low rules quality display a scatter plot matrix to compare the support confidence and lift of 2918 rules okay so we get support confidence lift and comparison between that i will inspect top 10 so these are what we are inspecting right now working on 10 so these are about 10 rules the soda popcorn you can find it right which we have got now the next thing we will do plotting of this why this is coming okay point and plot method equal to matrix object component rules not found no problem not to plot right now that is not requirement um, mm, so high lift rule now plot this lift rule so this is the for understanding purpose so it's a plotting of lift you can find how these item are picking so this is the video tutorial on <clears throat> understanding the basket data and doing the basket data analysis now in the next video we'll understand how to do basket data analysis for this type of data thank you and subscribe our channel